Hey YouTube, this is LDS Reliance. When someone's just getting into solar, especially DIY solar, the, one of the first things that they want to do is use a car battery for energy storage. We're all very familiar with car batteries. They're easy to find and they're relatively cheap, so I can understand why people are tempted to use them. However, there probably isn't a worse choice for a battery for energy storage in your solar panel system than a car battery. Car batteries are flooded lead-acid batteries that are designed for providing a quick jolt of power when you need it. As you can see from the picture of the inside of one of these, they're made up of numerous thin metal plates that are somewhat short and meant, like I said, they're designed to provide a big burst of power for a very short period of time. Now compare that with a deep cycle battery, as you see on the right, which has fewer plates, but they're thicker and taller. And this construction allows it to discharge further, provide a lesser amount of power for a longer period of time. So if you think of a car battery or starter battery, as they're also called, like a rabbit, they can go really fast for short periods of time. And a deep cycle battery would be like a turtle, which can go slow for long distances. So a deep cycle battery is not good for a car because it can't provide that big amp burst that the starter motor needs to start the engine. And likewise, you don't want to use a car battery for solar because they're not good at providing power for a longer period of time when they're connected to an inverter or constant load. As I mentioned before, you also don't want to discharge the car battery very much, much past about 10% discharged because that will greatly decrease the life of the battery. Once again, car batteries are designed to give you a quick burst of power to start the engine, and then they, the entire time you're driving the car, it's recharging. And it can do that thousands and thousands and thousands of times because it doesn't discharge very much. As you can see in the picture, if it discharges more than about 10%, which is 1.2 volts, then it will greatly reduce the life of the battery down to less than 1,000 cycles. So how can you tell which is a car battery and which is a deep cycle battery? Because a lot of times they look very similar and sometimes at AutoZone or uh, at Walmart or somewhere like that, they're right next to each other and often the marketing materials don't really tell you very clearly what they are. Well, on a car battery, if you look closely, you're going to see CCA or cold cranking amps. That's a dead giveaway that this is a starting battery. And by the same token, when you see a deep cycle battery, you'll see an amp hour rating on the front of it or on the label. I'm not saying it's never happened before, but I've almost never seen a car battery have an amp hour rating on the label. So that's also a dead giveaway. So the bottom line is I would not use a car battery unless you absolutely have to, or unless you are going to watch the voltage very closely and not discharge the thing past 10%. Well, that wraps up another solar video. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you liked what you've seen, hit subscribe in the bottom right.